In this video, we're going to take a look at some clips from our 4K license plate capture shootout, just to show examples. We're starting with default settings, which is a max of 1 30th of second uh, shutter, and we're just going to go ahead and play this through with our Samsung 1080p camera, just so we can see uh, the scene that we use. So we'll see the car comes by. It's actually going to go all the way down here, turn around, come back, just so we can see the front plate. So let's speed that up and we can see the front plate coming through here. Um, so this is what we've used. Now we'll go ahead and back this up just so we can see with the 1080p camera using default settings, we get that plate clear as day. So HVS 8732. If we take a look at our 4K cameras, we'll just start with Axis. Um, using default seconds, again, 1 30th of a second, uh, max shutter, we're not going to get anything. So uh, we can see that's pretty much totally blurred. Moving objects are just generally uh, blurry here. So uh, all the way through that scene, not going to get a plate read. Uh, if we take a look at Panasonic, same thing. It actually gets a little bit better uh, down here once it heads down this slight dip. Um, but if we back it up, we're going to see as it enters, we get blur. So substantial blur here gets a little bit better, a little bit better, but uh, we're still not really able to make out that plate clearly using these exposure settings. So uh, finally, Dawa was worst of all. Uh, this is a fixed lens, it was 80 degrees, so uh, we did do some additional testing uh, just to standardize that field of view. But just in as, as an example, you can see even close to the camera, what we get is pretty much a lot of pixelization. We saw a lot of compression artifacts going on uh, combined with that blur from uh, motion and it simply doesn't read. Now, if we switch to a 1 500th second scene, uh, we've uh, sped the shutter up and we can see, again, let's just go back to our 1080p for reference. Uh, we're also using a wider field of view here. Uh, just grab this clip as an example of what we can do with 4K. So uh, with 1080p camera, uh, we've sped this shutter and we'll see that resolution uh, has dropped a little bit. So we'll talk more about this in a second, but uh, we are still able to read that plate. And if we take a look at our 4K cameras, let's start with Panasonic's 12 megapixel here. Uh, we'll see that unlike default settings, we're going to get uh, plate reads here. Uh, they actually do improve slightly as the angle of incidence uh, from the camera decreases. So as it gets closer to the center of the field of view over to the right here, we can see that that plate gets really clear, uh, even more clear despite it being far farther away. And we can read that pretty much all the way down quite a distance from the camera. So uh, we're still reading this probably twice as far as we were reading it uh, before. So we don't lose it until right about there. So that's the additional resolution of 4K compared to uh, 1080p here. So uh, if we take a look at Axis, we'll see same thing. We're gonna be able to read this plate um, far away. We do get clear reads um, using this faster shutter. And uh, this is the one instance in which we were able to read plates with the Dawa 4K uh, low-cost bullet. So um, we weren't able to get it to read at night at any speed and using default uh, shutter or even slower shutters, uh, 1 500th, 1 200th, etc. Uh, it simply doesn't read. So 1 500th and up if you're going to use this Dawa camera and then only in really well lit scenes. So take a look at a couple of other issues in nighttime and fast speeds in a separate video here.